Ladies and gentlemen, Laurie Cardoso Moore with Proclaiming Justice to the Nations. And I want to send you just a quick uh, message. This week, We um, I came across an article by the head, the new president of the Southern Baptist Convention. They're meeting in Nashville this week. And this gentleman, Garrar, suggested that Christians or God is not wanting us to save America. This is his words. And I just want to just remind you all that this is outrageous. This is coming from a pastor. You know, we live in the last days, ladies and gentlemen, because how many Christians would make such a statement that we are not supposed to save America? Well, excuse me. If I remember my Bible, ancient Israel, even with the time of Jesus, when Jesus was getting ready to be caught up and taken up to heaven, he was asked by his disciples, when will you restore the kingdom back to Israel? Well, what kingdom is he talking about? Was he taught, were they, were they asking about a heavenly kingdom that was going to come or was it a physical, tangible kingdom? A kingdom that had a nation that was a nation, Israel. A kingdom that had a, the capital city, Jerusalem. A kingdom that has people who are citizens of that kingdom. The Israelites, all 12 tribes, and they're coming back. This was the most important thing. A physical, political kingdom that would be set up by our God. And here we have a Southern Baptist Convention leader who is saying, we don't have to say we're, our job is not to save America. Ladies and gentlemen, God established this country. Our founders, the framers of the Constitution knew that this this country was established by Almighty God. They quoted even our government is found in the Torah, the first five books of Moses. And it has and this government also not only has land and a people, it has laws. And those are the laws that we are supposed to be keeping. As believers because if we will keep those commandments and obey those decrees and those statutes then we will be prosperous we will be happy we will be at peace our enemies what does God say he's gonna do to Israel's enemies destroy them he won't let those enemies come against them so I just want you to be aware that this is going on this is crazy ladies and gentlemen and yes we are responsible for this country we are to occupy until he returns. So I just wanted to mention that to you all and just remind you, when you hear this crazy stuff being said by supposed Christians, Christian leaders, even from the Southern Baptist Convention, this is, they're the ones that are supposed to be so, you know, strict on what the Bible says. It, it says it in the word, we believe it, but not so much with this guy. I don't know what's happened to the Southern Baptist Convention, but ladies and gentlemen, any of you who support PJTN, if you are a member of the Southern Baptist Convention or the churches, I think you should contact them and let them know what you think. So God bless you all. Please watch the videos down below. Um, we've, got a, a, we've got a promo for you. We've got our podcast that's going to be starting in the next um, a week and we look forward to bringing information to you historically documented information so that you will be informed and you can speak to leaders like maybe contact the Southern Baptist Convention President Garrar. God bless you all. Thank you so much for all you do on behalf of our Jewish brethren, the state of Israel and defending these United States.